My name is Ty Wallen. I'm fighting out of Richardson, Texas, Dominion Gym. Both guys exchanging here. Ty with a nice uppercut and a nice knee. Nice combination. I'm really passionate about fighting. Uh, every single day I'm in the gym. I don't miss a day of training. Monday to Sunday I'm in the gym training. Uh, I'm looking to take this as far as it can take me. So I'm going to give it everything that I have. Hey guys, this is my second fight at the Gas Monkey. When I get in the ring, I'm going to give it my best. Make sure you guys see a great fight that night. I keep having this nightmare where no one can hear me. I'm locked in and I can't escape. My bike is faster than your network. Sprint, being with you is a real nightmare. Wake up, leave Sprint. Move to Metro PCS and get on a bigger, faster, nationwide 4G LTE network for only $30, period. Taxes and fees included. Sprint can't give you that. Switch now and get a free Samsung Galaxy. Metro PCS, wireless figured out. An amateur, so not a lot of experience but he's still morphing into the fighter he will become at some point. Uh, you know, you don't always know what to expect with these fighters that didn't have a lot of fights under their belt because they can surprise you. And that's what we like to see here. He comes from a great fight camp, Dominion, and, you know, they produce some tremendous fighters with unique fighting abilities. And when I say you... He is as tall as I am, so oh he's going to have long arms, he's going to have long legs. You know, I saw the gentleman earlier that... You know, those are tools he has in the toolbox. Well, he was here and he did fight. Yeah. And and that's what he's running into tonight because right. the guy making his pro debut, Matt Garul, I, I hope I'm not messing that up, and he's only had one amateur fight. Oh, wow. So one amateur fight, no professional fights. We really don't know what to expect out of Matt. Right. And, and, and it really is all about the family that you keep. You know, who's training you? What are they teaching That's you? That's very true. What fundamental? Because you're an open book. You know, Grandpa you're used to always say it's hard to soar like an eagle if you're surrounded by turkeys. Exactly. And Ty Wallerman is surrounded by eagles, and that's what we're going to see here tonight. An intellectual fighter is what he is. He's, he's very calm on the outside, but once that door closes, he's always been aggressive. He's been the aggressor in the last fight that I saw him with Kennedy and Chuka. And tonight, he's got his feet wet in the pro game. And what I like is I noticed Govea come out with him. That Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest will have three three-minute rounds. It's in the 205-pound weight division. Sponsored by Metro PCS, where you can get a free Samsung Galaxy with HD display for changing carriers. Your referee in charge of this contest is Aladdin Martinez. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the fighters fighting out of the Young Ideas dish retailer, Blue Corner. Trained in freestyle fighting and holds a professional fight record of zero wins and one loss. He stands 6'5 and weighed in at 201 pounds, representing Dominion Gym from Richardson, Texas. Ty Wallwin! And his opponent, fighting out of the Jim Ross Law Group at Red Corner, he's trained in freestyle fighting and holds and tonight is making his professional debut. He stands 5'7 and weighed in at 204 pounds, representing Team Takedown out of the gym. From Albuquerque, New Mexico, fighting out of Arlington, Texas, Matt Goulet. Matt Goulet. Now we got that Guru Lay. If that's how he pronounces it, our, our ring man, he may have got it wrong like we did. You know what? With a name like that, I would think New Orleans. I tell you what, I noticed there's about a foot in height difference already. They yeah. both may weigh 205 pounds, but there's right. a foot height difference. But I'm going to tell you right now, if, if Matt Guru Lay can get inside and start working the body uppercut, I mean, that's all it's going to take if you stand behind that power and that punches. He's going to have to try something. But let's see what happens here. Already want to get inside there. And he knows what he's doing. He knows how to get inside there. Yeah. Oh, and he's, he's, going, in, he's in on a double. Going right in for a takedown. Didn't really get it there. Well defended by But Wild he's got, he, knows, he knows where his strengths are at. Oh, oh nice wow. switch. The, wow. 
Quick, that is an advanced move for a man making movement. his debut. Quick movement for from a big, big guy. Fella. I mean, this wow. guy, I mean, you talk about some quick, quick twitch muscles. And that's man. a big man on top of your chest. That's a big man. I'll tell you right now, Ty Wallowin definitely wasn't ready for that. Woo! He's fighting out of that cage right now. You got a big man like that. I'll tell you, Matt Grulet is. I was impressed with that I'm switch he hit on him. Very impressed. You know, you see some YouTube videos of you see guys like that. You never you see 135 pound people do that. Yeah. <laughs> and now you got a guy like that. I mean, it's going to be hard to push a guy like that off you. Absolutely. And it takes a lot out of you having him lay 200. And, let's be honest, right now, probably 230 pounds on him. Well, you know, he's you, put on weight since the weigh ins. Exactly. And I'll tell you right now, he's composed. You know, for making his pro debut, he's hungry. He's He wants to make a statement right Not now. Not going to punch himself out too soon. Yeah. That's right. And you can tell he's more of a grappler. He's not doing any ground and pound right now. He's trying to, you know, he could throw in some short elbows. And when you're in your amateur career, you're not going to really have those advantages in no. your amateur career. Now, Walwin is turning the wrong way by my estimation. He doesn't want to give up his back, but he needs to switch his hips the other direction. I think he's working against himself by turning that direction. Well, you know, Matt would be great to get that knee off. Well, it would have been great if he would have got that left, that left knee on the midsection on the stomach. Just sit on it and then just kind of push off, get a full mount. Got a lot of weight here in, the, in this side control here. Wallowin needs to turn into Matt right now. Absolutely. He needs to turn those hips into Matt. Guru Lay has just uh, got this side control position. He's creating a lot of stress on the chest of Wallowin. And, and right now he doesn't have to do nothing but throw a few punches. And, and I'd say he's going to win the first round. He looks like he's trying to throw his leg over and mount him if the opportunity presents itself. Well, if he's not going to go for a submission there, he needs to get his arm from around the back of the uh, the head of Wallowin. Nice off front and elbow, too. Now, if he's going to posture up, he needs to shoot that knee over. There, now, if you're going to go up to the head there, you're going to have to pull that arm down and try to take it away and then start punching. And he's very wise there as well. A little slick move nobody might have noticed. He put his feet on the cage. And just pushed himself there a little you go. off. Now that you got the top the full mount. mount. Flatten him out. Flatten him out. Wallen needs the bump. Oh. You got 10 seconds now. He now. Has his back. Now you got, go for an arm bar right now. Now you've he, got a chance to go for can. the arm bar. Pull it off. He can get this arm bar, or he can try to go for a rear naked choke. Now he's back in the, well, almost the f full mount again. That was all Guru Relay for it sure. It was. His first fight, and that was all him. You got a team takedown in the corner right now, man. I'm telling you right now. He's well scored on the man. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Now, Ty Wallowin, I think that he was just, I think he underestimated Matt Gruel. I think it's what happened. I don't doubt that for one minute. Now, what needs to happen now is he needs to get that footwork and use that jab to keep him at a distance. I, I, I'm putting myself in Wallowin's shoes, and it, you, you look at each other. You're a foot taller than him. You look like you're in great shape. You've got all the measurables. And you think, there's no way this guy can beat me. And he's in store for a, something special here tonight if he don't change and do something. Now, now hopefully, Matt Grulay did not spend all of his energy looking for the, the first round submission. Hopefully I don't think he did. He looked pretty calm and composed, you know. I think things went his way, relatively speaking, easily the first round. You know, Ty Wallowin spent the whole entire time trying to keep him off. All the uh, energy really being expended upon Ty Wallman, but he, he has cardio for days. We're not really worried about Ty. Well, he has some ground to make up right here. We'll see what he does. I guarantee you he doesn't want to go down again. Yeah, Ty needs to stay low. He needs to stay low. Gourley not afraid to go there and bang. No, and it's dangerous for him to stay in the pocket. Those overhand rights, you know, they can end your night really quick. Oh. Swinging at a ghost. Yeah, Guru Lay missed that one by four feet. But, you know, that's the thing about being so short yeah. is that Ty Wallen was going to keep on missing with these head kicks. And here we go again. And it, and it opened him up for Guru Lay to get you right down to the ground. Yeah. He's got him in half guard here. Yeah, he's got that. He's got to keep going. He, he should have kept that left knee up. Yeah. He should have kept that left knee up and kind of give himself a little bit more of a base. He's trying to get full guard here. He's pretty close. He's got to get that right leg out. I think he's got the right leg out. He didn't have it locked, but he's got him in guard here. Now, Ty's doing a great job with those long elbows and long arms there. Yeah, those are pesky. They can open you up. They don't feel good. Now, he should he should have done that. He should have kept that leg and hooked it in, and he should have brought down Matt. But Yeah, you don't want to fool around and risk one of those up kicks. Nope. 
You either want to be on him or off of him. He, he needs to pull Ty off that cage, pull him out in the middle there. We yeah, because those advantage. legs, as long as they are, can create leverage, then he might be able to right push there, himself out of there. Right there in that north-south, you don't want to be in that position. But, you know, the, this brings the ref into play here, too, because well, he's not supposed to keep his feet in that cage and get a grip. Well, here's my so. question. Why is Matt Nat Grule not bringing those knees into the body? I mean, he has a whole midsection open. Bring and drive those knees in. Well, you know as well as I do, having studied fights and everything, you can go back and watch a fight. Or you can go back and analyze yourself. Everybody doesn't think as fluidly as we do watching it. We see things they don't see right now because they're fighting for their lives. Right. That blood's flowing, the adrenaline's pumping. They don't think as clearly as we are right here. Well, you know, right now they're in Matt's corner. Matt's corner needs to be telling them, use those knees in the back of the body, hit those kidneys. That would not feel good. Yeah, you hear the crowd yeah, even he saying, oh, turning he's, the wrong way. He's got that arm trap. Now, what is he going to do with it? He's to lock it in. With his 230 pounds on his chest like that, he's not going to really do anything with yeah. that arm. He's in a point, he needs to pull it right out of there. Now, Matt, Drew Roulet is doing exactly what he should be doing what here. What needs to do is bring his knees all the way to the body of uh, Now, he Wally. can go for a north-south choke here, and yep. if he's crafty, he can even get an anaconda or Dars here. It looks like he may be going for one. Oh, shoot. He may be going for it. Here it may goes. be good night, Irene. If he can get that left arm out and locked with his other hand and his pressure on the head of Wall Wynn, he can get him choked out three or four different ways. Well, this has been all Matt Grulay tonight. Absolutely. Both rounds, hands down. No argument out of nobody in here. <laughs> Wall Wynn's got a lot of friends in here, but they're not going to argue he's won one of these first two rounds. Right. right. And to be as big as that gentleman is, I'm surprised. You know, he's not really breathing terribly hard. I mean, Wall Wynn looks just as tired as he is. Right. He'll feel it tomorrow, though. I can guarantee you, Guru Lay will feel all this tomorrow. Now, it'll feel better because he'll be winning. If things hold course and they go his way. I gotta tell you right now, not bad. Not bad for having one Emmy no. going right into your pro. One amateur fight, making your debut. Yeah. This is a guy, Wall Wynn, we've seen him in there. He's got some skill. Right. This is impressive by Guru Lay. I'm guaranteeing you, these Bussy brothers, they're gonna keep looking at Guru Lay. He performs like this. He's only gonna get better. I'm curious to know if there's going to be a knockout here. They're, they're pleading with him not to get knocked out. That overhand right is just coming. Here comes the left or right. He wants to go for that grapple. He needs a knockout. Now, Wallowin needs to go ahead and take a knockout on this right now because he's had two rounds that are completely against him. Yeah, he will lose a decision unless he knocks out Guru Lay. Yep. Grulay just wipes it off. He just laughed at him. Well, while he was busy smiling, Wallowin brought in a knee. As you well know, a lot of times when they smile, it did hurt a little bit. Yes. They just don't want you to know it. Exactly. Kind of like when you get the wind knocked out of you, you reach down and try to tie your laces up. Or maybe that's just me. Yeah, and you don't want to just recklessly advance either. That's a good way to get caught on the chin. One of them overhand lefts lands, Wall Wynn may go to sleep. Man, I'm telling you what, he's throwing those Chuck Liddell overhand rights, and you know what made Chuck famous. Those, those are soup, soup oh. box, lunchbox gloves <laughs> over there. You know, it's funny that Grulé just laughed at the uh, the body kick like, dude, come on, man, you see what I'm packing, brother. You right. ain't going to do nothing. He's got some cushion down there. He, Let's say that for him. You know, that's kind of like a dis disadvantage. A lot of people think it works to his disadvantage, you know. He's got in here and oh, clearly no, I, put on no, a show no, I'm tonight. I'm saying it's working to his advantage. Oh, yeah, them. absolutely. But you know what I mean. Normal yeah. people on the street look at these two gentlemen and say, that's a fighter. That's right. a plumber. Right. Well, I'm guaranteeing you what, Guru Lay can fight. Well, you know what? When he's done plumbing, you got to pay the bill, and it's probably going to be a knockout. Hey, he can fight. 
He knows what he's doing in here. Absolutely. To only have one amateur fight, I am terribly surprised. I'm telling you, man, he came in here as the underdog, and you know what? He has not disappointed. He's Hats off the team takedown. Yeah, absolutely. They, they got a big hand in this. Now it would behoove him to not get into these dangerous exchanges, well, he's but he's kinda, still coming forward. Yeah, he's throwing some of those desperate punches right now. No technique behind him right now. No, he's just saying, I'm just going to try and connect. That's the big country I saw in that's it. That's the big country street fighter coming out, yep. And it could work for him. It could work for him. You know, that's one thing that we've seen before. When, when you have a disadvantage of a shorter fighter against a guy who has longer legs, longer arms, yeah. to get inside has been really difficult, but not for uh, Gruelle. And, and it's not just easy for Wall Win to do what he wants to do. If he gets uh, just a hair too close, that reach works against him. Yes, it does. So he has got to be perfectly measured with those arms and legs. Ten seconds in the fight. By all accounts, everything's going. Guru lays way. The fight's not over. They're, they're celebrating. Yes. If the bell does not no. ring and the horn, you keep fighting. Yeah. Don't celebrate too soon. Guru Lay won that fight. Yes, he did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. They scored at 29-28, 29-28, and 29-27. By split decision, your winner, Matt Gurule! All right, Matt, come on in here, Matt. You know, I gotta tell you, Matt, you know, the crowd saw you walk out here. One amateur fight, making your pro debut. Brother, man, you are a fan of a lot of people out here that wanna be like you. Give a round of applause for a guy making his pro debut from Team Takedown. And Ty Wallowin coming in here, doing work. All right, man, come on here, man. Tell me, as a pro, how does it feel? Man, I've been dreaming of this. I've been wanting this for so long. This is all I've been wanting to do. Um, my coach told me, go out there and show it. Make it happen. Make it happen. Well, I'll tell you right now, I think they're putting up some t-shirts with your face on it saying, if I can do it, you can do it. I think that we might work on that tonight. All right, so tell me, give me your perspective on the fight tonight. You went all three rounds. Round one and two, you wanted to keep it on the ground. But give me your perspective on how everything went overall. You know, game plan, take him down, look to submit. But he's tough. He wasn't giving up anything. He fought for position. He fought his arms. He fought everything, man. Striking from the bottom. That's a great dude, you know. No matter what I do, prepare myself for. You can't prepare yourself for somebody like that, man. Somebody tough. That's for real. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Matt Roulette.